Hello guys and welcome back to the channel once again. My name is Carl Sonamon and I'm here to write for you. Today we are back with Attack on Titan Season 3 Episode 11. This is going to be a fun one. I Like seriously. Like R Reiner, Bertholdt, the Beast Titan. They're coming. They're here to get Annie. I'm, I'm so excited about this. Why I'm sitting down today is because I'm uh, I've been sick for about two weeks now and I still haven't recovered. But you know I need to make some videos now <laughs> because uh, you know you deserve the content. So that's the reason why it's been taking so long for me to get to this video. Hopefully I will be able to make maybe one more video today. But that's why I'm sitting down. That's why I'm super tired. I'm sorry about that. Oh my god. Okay, before we begin the reaction, I just want to give a huge shout out to all my amazing patrons. Thank you so much guys for supporting me. It really means the world. Um, and an even bigger shout out to my oh, supporters and higher tiers. So Rebecca Hope, Marcus Wyatt, Raul Espinosa and of course Dimitri Exib, my lord of request. Thank you so much guys. Let's get right into the reaction, shall we? Let's go. Not the queen. <laughs> oh, two months. Okay. So we've jumped two months into the future. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the reason why they're coming here. Oh, that's cool. こじや困窮者を集めて面倒を見る。これには近い親友の兵長の後押しもあったらしい。ああ、また あの時は人類なんか滅べばいいとか言ってたのにな。あ、あれは勇気が待っただけだから。おう。ダメ。ファック。貸して。シルアウトミカサ。エレンは実験で疲れてる。そうだね。ごめん、ミカサ。だから
かもしれねえって話だ60年ぐらいだ、うん、もうずっと終わらない悪夢を見ているようだったよいろいろあってナイトマーってたけど俺たちが戦ってる敵は何なんだろうな悪夢にうなされ続ける人間ってことなのかいや、yeah, probably is そんな巨人に You were one of those titans, yeah まだパンとスープが残ってるでしょおしゃべりを食べ終わってからにしなさい<笑> She's such a mom ちょっとそもそもあの男は俺もどっかで見たことあるんだ私の記憶じゃなくて本当にエレンがだと思うんだが頭をどこかにぶつけてみてはそうだぞお前<笑>思い出すなヒストリアの手ばっか握りやがって共感の続きでも食らえばいいんだよそれで思い出せんなら<笑> I like that scene あれ Oh he knows Yeah I remember that He said your son has become a、um... Yeah Exactly He knows Grisha <laughs> Oh Jesus. <laughs> This is nice meeting up with him again. Standing there. That's not weird. Okay, I think you can chill. <laughs> Yeah. That's so weird to think that it's only been a few months. Really? That's so weird. It feels like years. Oh, that's some serious eyes. Yeah, tell us. I can tell you a story utterly useless to humanity. That's like, well, okay. That's a mere bystander. Well, this is cool. I want to know about this. I mean, what? Yeah, that's true. わざわざ壁の外をうろつくバカがお前らの存在以外にいるわけねえのにハンネスキン夢中に酒をやるバカを牢の中にぶち込む方はないかハンネスナイスシーハンネスそうヤングウェイの報告はなしだいいな何もそ
この子は This is really cool. I, I didn't think that we would get a backstory on the key. I didn't think that we would get a backstory on the key. I didn't think that we would get a backstory on the key. I didn't think that we would get a backstory on the key. I didn't think that we would get a backstory on the key. I didn't think that we would get a backstory on the key. I didn't think that we would get a backstory on the key. I didn't think that we would get a backstory on the key. I didn't think that we would get a b a c k s t o <sighs> it was your fault. What do you mean by that? Oh, now we'll get to see this. Jesus. Everything comes full circle. I love it. I really do. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's true in that sense. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. I was hoping that Aaron was going to say that. But... Yeah, I mean, that's really sweet. That's cool. That's really nice. This is great. This is so great. Oh, he was the one who did that. Really? Why? So this was uh, quite a different episode, wasn't it? I was really expecting a lot of action. I was expecting Reiner and Bertolt to come back um, and maybe having this huge fight or something like that. But it had nothing to do with that. So we started off like two months after um, what had happened with... Um, with Historia becoming the queen and everything, and you saw her in this in this role of taking care of the people in the underground um, city and people that were poor, and I really like that. She's grown so much as a character, and I'm just excited to see where where she's going to go. It was a lot of fun to see also these. Um, I mean, I guess they said like oh they were in the 104th. Um, which they were in the 104th, but I don't know, I don't remember them, and maybe they were just uh, some people in the background that I hadn't noticed, but I really liked how how they were looking at the situation compared to, to you know, our people. Um, they, they were like, oh, this is going to be so much fun, we're going to retake Wall Maria and stuff like that, and they were more hesitant to... Um, to have those kinds of emotions. And that is because, you know, they've seen a lot of stuff. And also, I think that it has a lot to do with them knowing that these Titans are really humans. So, killing them is not... You know, you're killing humans, basically. So, are you supposed to be happy about it? Or, or, you know, so it, it's difficult. I really, I, I understand the the struggle that they have with that. Absolutely. And what I was really surprised about in this episode was that we got um, to see like a lot of backstories with Keith. So that was that was really interesting and I do like him as a character. But what I really enjoyed was finally we got this full circle because a lot of stuff in Attack on Titan are things that you just get snippets here and there and you don't really know how they connect with each other. But I really liked how I think it was like episode two or something like that when, um, from season one where uh, Aaron wakes up and he doesn't really know um, what has happened to him. He has some um, strange dreams and stuff like that and then he has his keys um, but he don't, doesn't know how he got that. And it was really nice because you don't, you were like, well, what happened there? And you haven't really known. You, you, we found out a few episodes ago that he 
um, ate his father, but now we really saw how that happened, and I thought that was really nice. Now what I'm wondering is, why did he do it? Um, I, I, it's a little bit strange to me, because it's like, oh, he wanted to give this power to Eren, that's like, okay, I get that, you know, um, to give the power to Eren, sure, but... I mean, wouldn't it have been better to, um, you know, he, he he had the power already, so shouldn't he have just um, kept it for himself and be have let Eren have a father? I mean, you know, that's a bit strange to just be like, ah, I'm not, I'm just gonna t take off, you know, and hopefully he will have a good life by himself. I don't know, to me that's a bit strange. Just... But, and the music, I loved how it's been, the past few episodes, uh, you've seen the struggle of Eren, where he's like, oh, I'm not special, and stuff like that, and I've always said, but, well, do you really need to be special? Like, is that something that is that important? What does special even mean? And, and we had that focus around uh, this episode as well with Keith, because he always said, like, Oh, I'm not, I'm not special or something like that. And it's like, well, like, are all the other people really that special as well? Or are they just normal people trying to make the best of a situation? I mean, just look at Erwin. He's not, I mean, he's a badass, but it's not like he's the best fighter around, but he just gives it his all. And, and that motivates people because people see for example his uh, heroic uh, epic scene where he's like Sesame! and he's getting you know bitten by a titan i mean what is so impressive about that scene is not because he's some monster or he has some extreme powers it's that he's just a human who's risking his life and and that just motivates people you know it's not that he's some kind of a special person in that sense. It's just that he's a human. So, and that that's just motivates people in a much bigger sense. So I really liked that. I liked how Carla was like, well, I mean, it doesn't really matter if he's uh, special or not. I think that was nice. I really did. So thank you so much guys for watching. I absolutely love this episode. Probably one of my favorites actually. Um, let's see where they're going to go from now. Okay guys. Have a good one. I'll see you next time. Bye.